All right, guys, Galaxy S24. I wanted to go through some of the AI things, or as they call them, uh, advanced intelligence. So the first thing would be circle to search. Just press and hold, or uh, you have your home button down here, or if you use gestures like me, you're gonna press and hold on as you just go like something like this. And then you can circle and search for anything. So I'll just do it here, for instance, and it's gonna search, it'll find Tesla. And you can do that on anything. You can open up a, a website, and we'll just go into here to this PS5 firmware thing. And you can do it with pictures or really anything. And it'll search for it. Let's just do this, for instance. Search for that, and it searches for it. Very easy. Do it again on this image right here. See if we can find this image. And there you go. So very cool, really smooth, really fast, and really easy. Next, swipe down from the bottom, or top I should say, and then hit the gear on the top right. And then we're gonna go down until we see advanced features. And we're gonna go into advanced intelligence. Now, there's a lot of stuff that came out. For instance, if you go to the phone, you can get real-time translation. And this is off by default, so you're gonna to wanna to turn this on. You get real-time translation during calls. Tap the call assist button then select live translate or and in the call so you're gonna have to get a call in order to get this going but you have to turn it on first once you turn it on it's gonna think for a second and you're gonna need the internet for basically all of these things so just keep that in mind if you don't have internet it's not really gonna work for you um, you get your language you can choose in here different voices so we'll uh, turn this up so we can hear it Let's see if we can hear it. this is what it sounds like what this is what it sounds like when you're translating a call so there you go, you get a voice, you can have them talk faster or slower. Let's have them talk a little bit faster. This is what it sounds like when you're translating a call. This is what it sounds like when you're translating a call. That sounds pretty good. This is what it sounds like when you're translating a call. Guy sounds a little bit robotic, but hey, it, it still works. So go back to that, we'll keep that on there. Um, the other person will, will only hear a translation of what you say, so you can have them mute your voice or not if you want them to do that. Other person, you can choose different languages here and download different languages. Um, Spanish for the United States is probably one of the most popular ones here. So that would probably be a good one to have. All right, next one would be Samsung Keyboard, which I don't use to be fair, but you can change the tone of your writing, get spelling and grammar suggestions and translate messages in select chat and text messaging apps. So you come in here, hit okay, and then you're good here, you can see translate messages in select text chat, change the tone of the writing and get spelling and grammatical suggestions you can check. So you have to have this stuff is automatically on, I guess, by default when you come in here. So you have all that. But then when you go back, you can do style and grammar. Make sure it's on. If it's not, you can see process data only on device. That's for security and purposes only, but um, it won't do some of that. So I would probably keep that off. We next have the interpreter, live translation of spoken conversations available as voice or as text output. So you come in here and this is where you can use advanced intelligence to translate your spoken conversations either as text or read aloud. Translations are processed on your phone and tap to talk, you have that. You have different voice styles. So we can click on this and listen to it. Así suena cuando traduce. Looks like you can add a voice, download, to use interpreter, download the Spanish United States language. You can hit download. And that's gonna download, looks like more language packs. So now I have a second voice. Así suena cuando traduce. There we go, maybe I want that. Maybe Así I want to... suena cuando traduce. Go back, go back. And this one, the way we're gonna use this one is, so once you, basically have this thing going here. This is when you can start using it. So if you wanna access that uh, interpreter again, just swipe down from the top and you'll see an interpreter on the quick panel. If you don't, we can add it. So let's just like cycle through here. There it is right there. Just tap on it right there and it'll bring it up for you. Hey, how are you? Bien, y tu? Okay, and you? 
So there you go, there's real-time translation. And just remember, with the phone translation, you're gonna have a, a special button when you get a call or make a call that allows you to do the translation. It's, it'll be the assist button. Next would be Samsung Notes, come in here. And this should be on by default, but if it isn't, just turn it on. And this will auto format your notes with headers, bullet points, and paragraphs. Summarize your notes to see what they're about. Generate covers based on note contact. Correct spelling and grammar and translate text in your, into uh, your notes. When you auto format, summarize, correct, or generate covers, the select text or, or notes, including any sensitive data in them, will be processed but not stored by Samsung. Translations are processed by your phone. So you would have to go into Samsung Notes. So find that app, open it up. I don't really use this that much, but you'll be able to, uh, I guess, a bit here. So you could open up this note, for instance. Uh, they got foldables in both. Touch and hold the drag to move around the toolbar. And basically you can press this button and this will note smarter, not harder. You hit okay and you can auto format things or correct the spelling or summarize. And that's basically how it's gonna do it for you. Next would be voice recorder. And this will use advanced intelligence to create tr text transcripts, summaries, and translations of your recordings. And there's nothing to turn on here. So what we're gonna do is go into summaries here and you'd have to click it on here if you want to have summaries of everything. Automatically create summaries of, it, of recordings using advanced intelligence. When you open a recording summary tab, it's transcript including any sensitive data in it will be processed but not stored by Samsung. So you gotta turn that on if you want it to go on. You have your transcription languages. You can add more languages if you wish. So let's go into the recording app. And I have some recordings here. Most of these are just like demos that I sang and stuff. But if we click on one, I can hit transcribe. English, I'm gonna hit transcribe. It's gonna go through it, analyzing the recording. And hey, this is great, I'm recording with Apple. So it tells you what exactly what I said, if there's a, another speaker. So if you had a recording of this, it would break it down like that. You can even go through a summary and hit okay. And this will summarize exactly what was going on in the testing or whatever I said. And it's a really cool stuff to be able to do that and do it really quickly as well. Next would be Samsung Internet. Get simple summaries of web page text along with full translations. You can see, click on summarize. So summarize using advanced. I can turn that on for, for websites. When, some, when you summarize a web page, its contents will be processed. Oh, did I turn that off? Let's turn that back on. Okay, that looks good. Translate. And you can choose different language packs. So we'll open up the Samsung internet browser, which I don't really use that much, but you can use it if you want. So I have, I'm not gonna make that default. So we have this up here. So if you have your web page up, all you're gonna do is hit this button in the middle, hit okay. If it pops up, you can summarize or translate. So I'll do summarize. It's gonna summarize the whole page for me, which can be very, very nice. This is basically about Mint Mobile's holiday deal. So very nice and easy as well to summarize pages and things like that. I'll do it again and I'll do translate. Maybe I want to translate it so I can choose what I want, the text. And then maybe I'll choose uh, Spanish. There we go. And it translates it for me. Photo editor, I can reimagine images by moving, removing, or resizing the people and objects in them, then generating new backgrounds to fill in any missing pieces. So we'll open that up. I'm gonna turn this on, hit okay. And what we're gonna do next is we're gonna go home. We're gonna open up our gallery app. Choose your image in question. Hit the edit button. Hit this button right here. And you can see, Tap or draw around anything you want to move or delete. So I'm gonna circle it. And it's going to have it selected and you can see you can touch and hold your selection to move or delete them. So I'll touch and hold it. And maybe I wanna put it right here. So I'll put it right there. Maybe I'll make it smaller. I'll twist it. It's probably a bad picture to do this with, but at least it allows us to uh, 
do something with it, right? And then you hit generate and it's gonna generate the image and let's see what it does. Adding the missing pieces and let's see what it adds in. Sculpting new scenery. So it does take a little bit of time because it's sending it through the internet, painting it. And you can see it added in, it doesn't look that bad. I mean, it added in, I can hit done, view original. But it, it basically just completely removed it and that's actually really cool. I can hit done at that point. Save as a copy. And there we go. Doesn't look too bad actually on there. So let's do it with my dog now. We'll hit edit. <clears throat> and it says tap or draw. Tap on the dog. Now I'm gonna uh, touch and hold to move her. I've got her moved and make her really small. Make her a little small dog and hit generate. And let it do its thing. There you go. Filled in the uh, missing spots. So it's pretty cool. I mean, like, obviously these aren't great images to be doing this with because there's nothing really going on, but still kind of cool and easy to do. Hit done. Next, go to wallpaper and style under settings. And this is where you can change your wallpaper. And this is also where you can do all of your new uh, AI wallpapers. So you'll come in here and you just choose creative and choose generative, you choose that. And then this is where you have to kind of start off. These are the ones that I've created so far, but you can come in here, you have to choose a category. So maybe we want to do some uh, minerals. So we'll choose mineral. It doesn't give you a ton of options, but at least it gives you some. And you choose, you want a close image, close up image of uh, Galana, whatever that is. <clears throat> maybe you want to change that to uh, amethyst. And then with what kind of hues, Maybe you want them to be vibrant or complementary or neon. So we'll choose neon and that's all you can choose from. Then hit generate and it's going to create a wallpaper for you that you can use for your phone. And it kind of makes it a little bit unique and pretty easy. And you can see what it's going to look like, which one you want to choose. Maybe I want this one. So I'm going to choose that and hit next. And then I'm going to hit done. And this will create the wallpaper for me that I can use. And then the last thing with advanced intelligence, you can process data only on the device. Why would you want to do this? Well, if you're trying to be super secretive, but it's going to remove a lot of the features being able to do that. Um, also, you might want to do this if you're doing some of these things and you don't want to use data because it costs too much. Maybe you're traveling or something. Um, you might want to put that on, but otherwise uh, I'd leave it off so that it always does the best and most stuff that you can do with your phone. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and we'll see you down the road. Peace.